Um, number seven, chatty people when you're busy or, or interruptions when you're busy. Who who has this as a cause of stress? Do you find chatty people and interrupt? Do you find them stressful or not? Maybe you are that chatty person. If you're not putting your hand up, Kay, you probably are that chatty person. <laughs> well, the, the answer is, you know what I'm going to say with this one really is just say go away. But but in a polite way. Now, if it's a chatty customer, by the way, that's more tricky. But even with a chatty customer, I think um, I think, you know, there are going to be other customers and other stuff you've got to do. So I, I've got three things I want to say about this one. First of all, is you could suggest a limit. So you could say, I've only got about 10 minutes. Is that going to be enough? Or five minutes or one minute or, you know, I've got to do something at quarter past. Is that OK? Because um, you can say, look, I want to hear about your grandchildren and their exploits uh, on the holiday, but I have got something at quarter past. But just five minutes, tell me all about it. So you could politely set a limit on how long they're going to have. Um, another option you've got is you can suggest later. So you could say, I really do want to have this conversation. I want to hear all about your new car that you've got. But at the moment, I'm just in the middle of all this stuff. Um, could we do it at lunchtime? And just you could get rid of people by suggesting later, maybe later will never come or, or maybe later will come. And that will be great. It'll be a more convenient time. So you can say you could suggest how long and you can suggest when. Um, the third option you can do is you can actually tell them that they're annoying. And I've got a four step <laughs> process, which I'm going to very quickly uh, tell you about my magic four step process um, for telling people anything. I know someone who used this on their husband to stop him leaving his dirty pants on the bedroom floor, for example. Um, but we're going to mostly use this for um, telling somebody they're uh, being annoying and you want them to go away because you're busy. OK, so my four step process, it starts with I understand. So you say, I know it's a hassle to pick your pants up um, and I know that you're not bothered about, you know, the contents of the floor. Um, or if somebody's busy, you say, look, you know, um, I, I, I know that you um, need this need help with this problem of yours. I totally get that it's an urge, urgent problem. But so you go, I understand. But and the second one is I feel. So if it's the time interrupter, you'd say, uh, but I'm I'm just feeling really under pressure at the moment. I've got a whole queue of stuff here on the computer and another stuff I've got to do. And it, I'm feeling a little bit stressed just at the moment. Right. And if it's the pant husband and then you'd say, you'd say, look, I know that you're probably not bothered about them, but I um, it, it upsets me when I wake up in the morning and open up my eyes. And the first thing I see is your pants. It, it makes me unhappy. So you have to actually talk about. Uh, oh, by the way, to you, pants is trousers, isn't it? But I'm talking about underpants. I get I hope you guessed that. Yeah. Do you call them underpants? Do you call them that? I think you do. Or do you call it a thong or is that something different? No. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, so you but you have to say how you feel. Now, it's quite powerful when you say how you feel, because quite often the other person doesn't realize that you hate seeing the the thong or uh, or or that you're feeling stressed because they can't tell. And in fact, some people hide the fact they're being stressed. But tell them, say, look, I'd love to chat, but I just feel really stressed at the moment because I've got all this stuff queuing up here. So and then you say what you want. So could we just spend five minutes on this and then I'll go back to this? Or could we talk about it later? Or if you see me on the computer, can you go past and not disturb me? Because otherwise, you know, because it dist disturbs my flow. Whatever it is you want them to do. Or could you put your pants in the laundry basket in the bathroom rather than leaving them on the floor? Whatever it is you want them to do. And then finally, you say, is that OK? Could you do that for me? And they're bound to go, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, didn't realise you stressed. Yeah, no problem. Um, or, yeah, sorry, yeah, I'll put them in the basket. Now, if they say, I'll put my pants wherever I damn well like, then I think it's time to get rid of that man or woman or whoever. <laughs> because, because if they say no, they're basically saying, I don't care how you feel. And that's pretty bad to say to someone, I don't care how you feel. So there's a kind of a link from number two to number four, isn't there? When you say, is that okay? So it's quite powerful. If you say, look, I'm feeling really under stressed, but but I would like to talk about this. So could we meet later? Would that be all right? They can't go. No, I want to talk about it now. Can they? They just can't. So this is a really clever process. And basically, the strong bit is in the middle. I feel and I want. But it's got a lovely, fluffy exterior of I totally understand. 
I know it's difficult, but I feel I want. Is that all right? So you can get away with saying quite strong things. You know, suppose you've got a customer who's difficult in any way. Maybe they keep bringing stuff back, even though, you know, it fitted or whatever. You you could say, look, you know, I, I know it's really difficult to... Uh, it's a difficult example I've picked, actually. Um, but, I, you know, I know it's really difficult to be sure that it's perfect. Um, but but it's it's becoming difficult for me because I've had to send back three lots already. And, you know, it's a bit embarrassing with my boss. And, it's you know, uh, what, I don't know, whatever the problem is. And I'm thinking, you know, would it be possible this time for us to pick the one and stick to it? You know, could, do you think, could you do that this time? So you could use this format for pretty much anything, even even customers. Uh, but you do have to be obviously really, really careful with customers. You can even use it on bosses if you're subtle enough. Um, so that's the four step process. And I think definitely with chatty people, rather than just go away saying, I'd love to talk it, but I feel under stress. Could we do it later? Would that be all right? Those are the words to use.